All right, Mike, thank you so much. And of course, the day started out with a lot of wind and even tornadoes. So we're going to go county by county right now as we check in on the areas that were hit. Polk County had several close calls with multiple warnings and a tornado caused a roof collapse in Lake Wales. That happened just before 10 a.m. on Genesis Point Drive north of Warner University. So let's go there live now to Spectrum Bay News on reporter Stephanie Claytor. Stephanie, what are you seeing there? Hey Al, what a difference from noon. The wind has picked back up. You can see my umbrella. I'm holding on to it here. Debris is everywhere from where this roof collapsed over there. You can see it. The roof on that side of the quadplex just caved in. There was an elderly couple that was inside at the time and they said they never thought something like this would happen to them. Uh, and you can see the windows are broken. And the woman who lived there, she's 90 years old. Her name is Ellen Marie Weddle. She was taken to the hospital. And I just want you to hear what her husband had to say about this tornado touching down at their home. I was sitting in the living room and uh, in my chair, and all of a sudden, boom, the windows blew out and everything comes crashing down on top of, top of us. So it's a mess inside. And I just got an update that that quadplex over there, all four units have been condemned. They're not livable at this point. That is according to the Polk County Fire Rescue. All those people are having to find somewhere else to stay tonight because of the roof over there at that quadplex. They said conditions are just too bad for people to be living in. And uh, also in terms of the injuries for Ellen Marie Weddle, her husband said she was calm when all this happened. And he's hoping that the injuries are minor, but he did say that something fell on the top of her head. And that was why she was being taken to the hospital. And if you're anywhere out here near Warner University, US Highway 27, this rain just picked up on us. The wind picked up on us. Debris like this might be flying in the air, so definitely stay safe or stay at home if you can. Reporting live south of Lake Wells, I'm Stephanie Clay for Spectrum Bay News 9. All right, Stephanie, thank you so much. You hear that thunder in the background, too? Still very active, still a lot of rain falling, making the situation even worse. And you just see the windows all blown out of that home, and I'm talking about it. All of a sudden, he's sitting there, the windows blew out, uh, probably equalization pressure from whatever touched down, if it was a tornado or high winds. But uh, we're going to find out more about that as we go on. Now we want to head to Pasco County, where there were reports of another possible tornado. Turns out, though, they're actually calling this straight-line winds, which doesn't mean there won't be damage, because, as you're going to see, there was at least seven.